we want to change that. So we've been working hard with our ecosystem for a, on a very important initiative, which we call Android One. Android One was officially announced by Google three years ago at Google I.O. 2014. The idea was very simple, reaching the next billion users by increasing accessibility and affordability of devices. It pioneered quality budget smartphones, yet even after that, it kind of failed. Fast forward to September 2017, Xiaomi announces the Mi A1 in collaboration with Google, the latest addition to Android One. And oh boy, there's so many things to analyze with this. So hey, what's up guys, this is KD Cloudy and you're watching another episode of Tech Thesis. Stay tuned. Now what we are here to answer is that why is Google reinitializing Android One again after three years? And they seem to be pretty serious about it as they even launched a brand new Moto X4 running Android One for the US markets. Now the answer to this question lies within why does Google even make stock Android phones? They've done this three times or maybe four times. Nexus, Google Play Editions, Android One, Pixel. But only two of them have been a commercial success. Let's talk about the other two. The Google Play Edition program was announced at the 2013 Google I.O. when Hugo Barra just pulled out a Galaxy S4 running stock Android, promising a Nexus-like experience with easy to unlock bootloaders. Everyone's mind was basically blown and that kept going forward. We had a couple of HTC devices, some Motorola devices and some LG and Sony products here and there. But it didn't really work out as well and Google just phased it out, stopped selling any during early 2015. Now the reason for this failure was that the phones listed were way too high priced like the S4 and the 1M8 were major flagship phones and secondly the companies involved didn't have much going for themselves and gave essentially zero marketing and advertising since they were simultaneously making the exact same phone with custom software and loads of features. And since they were expensive they weren't bought even by developers or enthusiasts as much since we had the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 5 for pretty cheap around that time. So yeah. Zero marketing and high price were the problems of Google Play Edition phones. But on the flip side, there were actually some good things about this. Google didn't really ask manufacturers to make hardware changes to make them more like Nexus devices or make dedicated devices specifically for this program. But they just said just keep making hardware but ship some of them with our software. Pretty simple. And secondly, the good critical reception of these phones by whoever bought them and used them definitely liked the experience of stock Android on premium hardware, which later paved the way for the current Pixel and the Pixel XL. Now let's move on to Android One. Android One was announced exactly a year after announcing the Play Edition phones. These were supposed to be ultra budget phones focusing on the next billion users and Google saw it as a means to push stock Android bundled with their services because that's exactly how they make money. Google's entire business model is based around these services. They collect user data through the services and show up tailored ads on Google search. And this is really important because they don't really make any money off of Android. So whether it be it Nexus's or Pixels or Android ones, these help in increasing the usage of Google services simply because Google makes money. That's how her business works. And that's essentially why Google even focuses on stock Android hardware. But coming back to Android One, these devices were created by local manufacturers on cheap MediaTek chipsets priced just over or under $100 and they were actually pretty decent phones. They fixed the cons of the Google Play editions by making them more affordable and marketing them really well. But despite this, they eventually failed. Again, because of two reasons. The phones were simply too generic. The brands which made these smartphones were pretty generic. They didn't really have a brand value as the big guys would have like Samsung or LG and the phones were really really cheap as in they were not really too good at anything objectively. Secondly, separate hardware just dedicated for this program was being manufactured which was a pretty big pain for the manufacturers who could have simply made their regular skin phones with specialized hardware for their regular markets. But despite these problems, the devices themselves were not actually half bad but pretty good. And Google didn't necessarily fail in hitting the consumer experience. And here we are three years later when they restarted the Android One program by launching the Mi A1 for India and the Moto X4 for the US. Both of these phones effectively fix all of the problems with both Android One and Google Play Edition. They're pretty affordable, they're marketing it really well, they are different variants of an existing smartphone 
like the Mi A1 exists as a Mi 5X in China with my UI and the Moto X4 exists as a Moto X4 without stock Android and lastly they are not too generic but made by reputable brands. And here are some two extra bonuses. They are exclusive. You can't buy a Mi A1 anywhere except India and same goes for the Moto X and more importantly the introduction of the premium priced pixel phones means that you can't really buy a good stock android google phone under a budget except for these and lastly it runs stock android duh. but the thing is that although google is betting on this as a feature and marketing this as a unique selling point of these devices i doubt how many average consumers will actually be impressed by this as a feature they would like to have on their phone but given the price and the other features of these devices android one definitely feels like a confident bet on the next billion users.